You're welcome to my channel, Mindset Academy, where we want to reproduce the figure that is displayed at the right hand side of the screen using the principle of tangency. The first thing you have to do is to draw your horizontal line in this fashion. Alright, you draw your horizontal line in this fashion. Paint line first. You can see that. Now, the next thing you have to do is to draw another vertical line in this fashion. This way. Hope you can see that they are all meeting at this point. Alright. Now, the next thing you do here. Now, this center you see here. Is the center that is displayed at the right hand side of the screen as you can see right let me zoom it a little bit now from that center point that i'm showing you on the screen the next point is given to be 100 and what 25 so i'll measure from this point which is the point on the screen and I'll measure 100 and what 25. So from 0 to 125 is here. You can see. So on that point, I'm going to draw a vertical line across that point. So using my faint line first of all. You can see that. I'll do that with my faint line first of all. Now after that. This point here, seeing the center point, is the center point here. So taking now from this same point here, which is this point here, I'm going to measure 50 downward, as you can see on the screen. So I'll measure 50 from this point. I'll measure it downward from this point here. So from zero to 50, and I'll draw line there so on that point I'm going to draw a vertical line there just faint line first you can see that now aside that you discover that um on this point here right is another center here which is given to be what radius of 40 right so what would I get there? I'll measure from year to year, which is 82. That means from this point to somewhere around here, I'm going to measure 82 to get another center. Right? So let's just continue doing that. You measure 82. From 0 to what? 82. So that is another center there. So let me just draw my line there. Is that again? But well, you should know that this point here is this point here. Let me call it my point A. Right? And um, this point here is this point here. Let me call it my point B. And this point here is this point here. Let me call it my point C. And this point here is this point here. Let me call it my point D. So I'll be coming to point E very soon, right, which is this point here. So let's do the rest. Now you discover that at this point, point A, which is this point here, I have a radius of what, 25. So I am going to measure 25 on my meter rule from 0 to 25. Can you see that? From 0 to what, to 25. And I'm going to place it at this point here. I'll place it at point A. Can you see that? And I'm going to draw an arc in this fashion. Point line, that is a circle. We're coming back there. Can you see that? I'll just draw a circle first. So once I've done that, there's a circle at this point. The same circle also is lying in this point too. At this point too. I'm 
going to do the same thing. A circle, faint line, as you can see that I'm using faint line. That is for radius of what? Radius of 25. Even at this point too, we have another radius of 25 at point C. At this point. Radius of what? 25. Faint line first. Are we good? Then we have a radius of 40 from point D. So I'm going to measure 40 from point D from 0 to 40. Can you see that? And I am going to place it at this point. Right? And I'm going to measure 40, radius of 40 in this hard session. Hope you can see that. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'll start drawing the tangent to each of those points. A straight line is joining this circle to the circle, so I'm going to use my thick line. A circle A towards circle B. Can you see that? Then the next one again is joining circle A to C. That is this to this at this point. On this point here. Right. On the next one, this to this, I'll join it. Then your faint line first. It should be tangent. We say tangent is just touching through the circle. Right? You can see that. Now aside that, there's a line coming down here straight. First of all, let's use faint line from this point. This is my T square. I'll be drawing this downward a little bit. Can you see? Faint line first. Then if you look at this last circle E, right? It is 20 millimeter downward starting. So what I will do is I will measure 20 downward from the center. Right? After measuring 20 downward from the center, let's just watch from here. I'll measure 20 downward from this point. So 0 to 20. You can see that? So I'll take it in a little bit. Take it in a little bit this way. Can you see that? Then I'll measure, since radius is 10, I'll measure 10 in. So measure radius of 10 in with my metal rule. Measure 10 millimeter radius from my metal rule here from 0 to 1 is 10. Mm -hmm. And I'll place it at this point here and I'll mark 10. So I'll take it from here to that point to draw my circle. This way, where the circle I'll draw. So, meaning that there's a line that is tangent to that circle, right? So, this line from here to here is tangent. I'm going to draw a straight line. So I'll be touching this. You can see that. I will also be drawing a straight line. So I'll be touching from here to here to this bigger one here. So everything is just straight line. As you can see, tangential line, not just lines. But what tangential lines? Now in doing that, I will just uh, take my compass and I will start thickening those lines here. That again, so I'll thicken the circle of this edge. And I'm going to take it down. So let's do it this way. So if I should come here at D, there's a center D where my arrow is pointing. I'm going to take in this. I see that. At C, where my arrow is pointing, I'll place it here. I'm going to take in this. Like at C. Right. 
right then the next one is at a where my arrow is pointing i'll place it here i'm going to take in this right and at b i'll place it here i'm going to take in this then at point e here i'll place it here and i'm going to take in this hope you can see that so most importantly you must put in your center line and your dimension in to be 20 here we have distance of what 20 right so this is what we talk about and this is what we call a tangent line to a circle that again so if you have um, found this video helpful please don't forget to like subscribe and also share the video thanks for watching